Welcome back to the Dad Labs. Christmas has come and gone, but we're still on vacation. So we've reached way into the hard drive and found a classic episode brought to you by Parentricity.com. In this episode, watch how Daddy Troy keeps poop off his hands. Classic gear from Dad Labs. <laughs> Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy, and today we are reviewing the touch-free diaper pail by Graco. Now we're gonna be giving one of these away, so stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you how to get your name in the drawing for some serious baby gear. Okay, first, let me show you how this diaper pail works. Let me grab a diaper. After you've changed your kid's diaper, both you and I know that sometimes you'll have um, either poop on your hands or a bunch of diaper cream or something. You've got it all wrapped up in this little bitty ball and your hands are all dirty. You stick it over this little infrared sensor right there. It opens up, drop the diaper in. Once you've dropped it in, it goes into a little bucket and then it closes. It closes on its own and drops into the containment area down below. Let's take it apart and show you how it works. When you're shopping for diaper pails, one of the first things you should always look for is how well it contains the stink. Um, open trash cans don't work, general kitchen trash cans don't work, and as a result, there's been a new generation of diaper pails designed. This one's pretty cool. I'll show you how it really does a good job of keeping the smell out. Watch this. So I'm gonna turn it on to manual mode. It has a manual mode. I'll close it back down and turn it over. The really neat thing about this particular diaper pail is that the smell is always kept inside by this little eyeball looking thing that always stays down. All the smells come up and get trapped inside of it. And when you're ready for it, it turns over and only a little bit of air will actually come out that was trapped inside the diaper pail. A second way this one keeps the stink out is that it has a little carbon filter on the inside right there. And I can show that to you as it opens up. Check this out right here. The carbon filters right there. Or you replace those about once every month and uh, you can buy them for like three or four bucks. Another way this one keeps out the stink is that it has this little plastic rim right here. And that plastic rim ends up connecting with a rubber piece, a rubber-like piece right here that actually makes a seal onto the, the kitchen trash bag that you've got installed in it. Okay, number two. And with a diaper pail, number two is gonna be important. Get it? Number two, Never mind. Anyway, so the point being, number two is how do you get the pail open? And we've kind of already gone over that, and this is one's pretty unique in terms of the touch-free mechanism. But with getting pails open, there are three or four ways to do it. One is manually with your hands. One is they have these turning mechanisms. You have the sausage mechanisms, push mechanisms. But again, all of those require some sort of physical contact with a diaper pail, and this one does not. It's really handy because with the exception of the foot-driven ones, all of them require you to touch them with your hands. And a lot of times your hands are poopy or have diaper cream on them or you're holding a baby. And that's where the touch-free comes in. Now number three, does it use special bags? Remember the sausage type ones I talked about earlier, they require special bags and some of their diaper pails do too. But this particular diaper pail only uses your standard kitchen bags. You can see one right here. Number four, how do you actually attach the kitchen bags inside the diaper pail? Um, how well are they secured? Because I've had times when the diaper, pail, diaper bag actually ends up going inside and falling into the pail just like that and it gets poopy everywhere. So this one right here has a pretty good mechanism by which it secures the plastic bag. And then there's number five, which is the ease of cleaning. Now, even though this one is fairly complicated in terms of its structure, it's actually pretty easy to take apart and clean, which really surprised us. And finally, number six, how big it is. A really small diaper pail you end up changing all the time and it's really a hassle. And really big diaper pails end up being a big load of poopy diapers, which you don't want to deal with because it smells up your house even worse. So this is a pretty normal size diaper pail, but keep that in mind as you're buying one. Now speaking of buying, this one costs about a little under 50 bucks retail. You also have to spend three to four bucks on the filters every 30 months as well as the batteries. But still, nonetheless, it's a pretty cool high-tech diaper pail that we really like. Now there are some potential problems with this and all diaper pails. This one in particular, it has an electronic mechanism and we know that could fail. Number two, once the diaper pail is full, the turning mechanism may not turn anymore. Of course, if the diaper pail is full, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and take the diapers out. 
And then finally, number three, and with a lot of diaper pails, you get this pyramid effect with the diapers, and the diaper mechanism stops working. If you just shake the diaper pail a little bit, they'll settle out, and everything will be fine. Now, one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to find the hack for this diaper pail. And what I mean by that is I'm pretty certain this is an infrared frequency that's coming out of here, and I know the remote controls can put out infrared frequencies as well. It'd be really neat to find out what frequency of this is, and then you could kind of just put it across the room and hit your remote control and two points, you know, that'd be pretty fun. So if any of you uh, tech geeks out there know how to figure out the frequency on this, let me know. So we're giving away this very diaper pail, and in order to win it, you need to go to dadlabs.com, leave a comment. Over the next few weeks, we'll choose randomly among those commenters and, and pick a winner. Tell us what diaper pail you're using, what you like about it, and what you hate about it. And uh, don't worry, we'll put it back together before we send it. Thanks for watching dadlabs.com. Thank you.